FBI's cryptic FOIA response hints at Satoshi Nakamoto's mysterious identity. FBI Satoshi Nakamoto, a new mystery surfaced as the EBI responded to a Freedom of Information Act FOIA request concerning creator of Bitcoin. Last updated August 13, 2024 at 11.13 GMT3, journalist Hassan Shitu. Journalist Hassan Shitu about author Hassan a CryptoNews.com journalist with years of experience in Web3 journalism, brings deep knowledge across crypto, Web3 gaming, NFTs, and play to earn sectors. His work has appeared in Author Profile Share, copied last updated August 13, 2024 at 11.13 GMT3. Why trust Crypto News with over a decade of crypto coverage? Crypto News delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Crypto News a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Crypto News, the Federal Bureau. Of investigation, FBI has recently responded to a Freedom of Information Act FOIA request concerning the enigmatic creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, in a manner that only deepens the mystery surrounding the pseudonym. The FBI's response, which neither confirms nor denies the existence of records related to Nakamoto, suggests the possibility of Satoshi being a third-party individual, a term typically reserved for non-U.S. persons. This cryptic reply has sparked renewed intrigue and speculation about the true identity of the person, or possibly the group, behind the creation of the world's first cryptocurrency, investigation leading to the true identity of Satoshi Nakamoto. The FOIA request in question was filed by investigative journalist Dave Troy, who sought to uncover any information the FBI might have on Satoshi Nakamoto. In a series of tweets, Troy shared the Bureau's cryptic response, which neither confirmed LOL nor denied the existence of records related to Nakamoto, citing the individual as a third party. This type of response is typically reserved for non-U.S. persons, adding another layer of intrigue to Nakamoto's already mysterious figure. Troy noted that the FBI's designation of Nakamoto as a third party individual is particularly interesting given that Nakamoto is widely believed to be a pseudonym, potentially representing a consortium of individuals or even a government entity. The fact that the Bureau treated Nakamoto as an individual rather than a group or entity has led to widespread speculation about whether the FBI might have more concrete information regarding Nakamoto's identity than it is willing to disclose. The request was filed through the FBI's all other subjects pathway rather than the deceased individual's form, which typically allows for broader queries. Troy also emphasized that while his primary goal was not to unmask Nakamoto's identity, the FBI's ambiguous response could inadvertently contribute to that outcome if further information is revealed through appeals or additional inquiries. Satoshi Nakamoto, a person or a group, Satoshi Nakamoto is the pseudonymous figure credited with creating Bitcoin, the first decentralized cryptocurrency, and authoring its original white paper published in 2008. Despite extensive speculation and numerous theories, Nakamoto's true identity remains one of the most enduring mysteries in the cryptocurrency world. Troy's FOIA request is part of ongoing efforts by journalists, researchers, and enthusiasts to uncover more information about Nakamoto. However, the FBI's reply has only deepened the enigma. Some believe the Bureau's handling of the request suggests they possess information that could clarify Nakamoto's identity or his involvement in Bitcoin's early development. The implications of revealing Nakamoto's identity are significant, potentially impacting the cryptocurrency market global financial systems, and even international relations. Growing evidence suggests that what was traditionally thought to be the work of a single genius might actually be the product of a collective. A July 2023 report from Bitcoin.com News supports this. Theory with various pieces of evidence, including Nakamoto's use of both we and I in the Bitcoin white paper, 
and the varying writing styles in his forum posts and emails. These differences, along with timestamps indicating activity across multiple time zones, suggest that Nakamoto could be a group of individuals with diverse expertise, including computer science, mathematics, and game theory. Further analysis supports the idea of a collective, as the wide-ranging expertise attributed to Nakamoto seems too vast for one person. Despite these theories, definitive proof remains elusive, leaving the true identity of Bitcoin's creator a mystery. Follow us on Google News. 